Hey, hello, how's it going? Welcome back to another Slice and Dice video. It's me, Cranberry. Hopefully you are doing well. I'm good. I'm having a good one. Just chilling. You know how it is. Uh, nothing super interesting. Probably not streaming today. So, yeah, I don't know. Let's head in. Let's hop in here. Doing another hard mode run. I played one more run between the last one and this one. It was a pretty cool run that ended up having Dogma with uh, Wizard. And also, a fun little thing there is that you can use Charge with Wizard 2 on that on that boost on the wand. If you don't know, the, the, the interaction here with Dogma and single use is that... Uh, the, the side doesn't go away, it just goes down to zero pips. But then the wand boosts it back up to whatever its original value is. So if you if you charge with Dogma on this perma boost wand onto Wizard itself, the wand stays at three pips, even after the turn ends, basically, right? Because you've added plus three to that side now. Instead of the plus one it would add after resetting it. Anyway, uh, just a cool little run there. It was very, very neat. Uh, get fucked hand. But uh, let's play. Let's hop in here. I'm just going to stick the basic probably for a while. I don't know. I don't know. I like playing some freaky stuff sometimes, but I, I want to also <laughs> get a good win streak in at some point in my life. And it does seem that basic is the way to do it. So that's what we'll be doing here. That's the plan. Uh, Pretty close to killing this goblin here. We could, you know what we could do? Nothing that matters too much. Ah, we'll play like this or whatever. It's fine. What am I doing? Hold on. Yeah, we'll end it like that. We could we could not kill the bee and instead kill the goblin there. But then we don't even have a use for the, the death defy. It doesn't matter. It's it's over either way here. Ooh, and I will definitely take a knight. Very happy to see knight this early. Very strong character. Very cool. It means we probably won't be taking scrapper because there's a little bit of a anti synergy there where you can't use parry onto the uh, the shield bash sides. Scrapper usually pretty strong, but on this team it would be maybe a little bit on the weaker side. So, something to keep in mind there. And interest, I think what we'll do here is probably parry onto knight and then knight onto thief here. So it's a little bit of a safe, a safe play here, but it, to me it looks pretty good. And I think we just kill this rat that is uh, attacking our fighter here. And then yeah, we, we, we take, we're killing a rat. We take very little damage. I think that's, I think that's fine. That'll be pretty good now. The hardest thing to do here on this t on this game right now in the early game is to remember that I have item poison. I have the item poison curse. I gotta not do something, something stupid like I don't know, maybe maybe equip uh, equip what's it called uh, a golden thread onto a character that has no defensive sides whatsoever. So getting just one poison for no reason. Got to avoid that. But beyond that, we should be fine. Uh, Battle song, item poison. Item poison, nothing here is worth item poisoning over to replace, so we will continue on our way here. I think these are pretty good rolls. We'll probably end up killing this one of these two bees in order to keep our fighter alive here. But we could just double parry, which is kind of like the same thing. Well, at that point, like, you know, we're basically blocking more damage by, by taking the hit there, I guess. I don't know. This seems fine. Wait, did I, did I have another reroll out there? This, I think I might have just locked in a thief with a blank there. We're also having a reroll. Ah, whatever. I think we'll be fine. There we go. Uh, I'll take a rogue here. I'm not the biggest rogue fan in the world. I wonder I wonder how Voidix currently feels on rogue. He for, last I checked with him, he was like the biggest rogue stand in the world. I wonder if he's still on the rogue hype train or not. I don't know. I, I, I think he's good. I think rogue is good against thief. Or, or rogue is good against not thief. Rogue is good against troll. I think those poisons really help neutralize that regen if we can ever hit them. But this is also a pretty good turn for us too, so I'm not gonna complain too much here. This is fine by me right now. Uh, I'll hold these. I'm looking for a heal actually this turn, I think. Off of the healer. There we go. You can also trigger the. Uh, Cruel hit here, which is pretty nice. Then we just do this, and then we should be able to kill next turn pretty easily here. Needs to go horribly wrong for us to get the lethal this turn, basically. There we go. Oh, a little bit late, but there's our poison. Uh, ha, ha, ha. No, thank you. Not worth it. Interesting, but no. And Flickering Blade, I think, is a, is a pretty solid uh, tier 2 item here. Although, with item poison, I would say it's almost never worth it. So the question is... Do we want to risk 
taking a random here, getting some sort of crazy. I think actually, I think in this in this circumstance, yeah, we will try to risk getting some sort of crazy item instead here. It has like a super crazy synergy for this team. Now, this is not a super crazy synergy, but it is a pretty solid upgrade to fighter. But I have not forgotten today. Item poison, probably not worth it, but debatable. That one's definitely a debatable one. If we see like um, Evoker, I'll be much more inclined to consider that as an option for this team, even with the item poison. I think Evoker with Worn Arms is a pretty solid choice here. We'll see, we'll see. I think we'll do this. I think we'll actually parry this turn. Although actually, no, it's not even that worth it. Yeah, never mind. just just play it like so. Yeah, we, we just we just kill the, uh, the the blind here instead. That should be a lot better for us. Okay, so we don't want to trigger the extra. Oh, we we have lethal dude. I was like, I was like, we don't want to trigger the extra damage here, but we can just kill his ass. Oh, well, would you look at that? Speak of the devil, it is evoker. You know what? I'm down for this honestly. With the worn arms, I think this will be pretty decent. I, again, I know he's going to be a little poisoned. I think it's pretty solid. Would love to kill this bottom snake first. Unfortunately, uh, our drop will not be able to hit down there. But we do have lethal on that snake right away. That's, this is a very good turn for us. Okay. And I think what we do here is this and make the yeah make the bullshit retreat and it's just us versus a single snake. Very good. Very very good. Yeah, I'll take this. Drop is a very good spell for the record. Uh, it's not the best spell in the game, but it's very solid and uh, I think it'll be pretty strong here. Um, I I will take ladder. We're not going to use it right now. At some point, it might be usable, though. Uh, hard to say exactly. Um, like, maybe at some point, like, this would be a pretty good... Like, this is not terrible, honestly, but I don't think it's that good here. Dude, especially in, in, in this upcoming fight, Cantrip, Cantrip definitely better. But uh, debatable. Debatable for sure. Looking for, like, a little bit of mana. Nice. There we go. Okay, we're working, we're working down the slate here. Dude, this slate hates our evoker. What the fuck, man? That is just plain rude. Wait, Knight, give me something to work with here. Come on. There we go. Take the slate out. Put some healing here. And then I guess... This doesn't matter too much. We'll be... We're, we're a smooth sailing from this position. I am not uh, worried anymore now. We should be fine. This little poison doesn't hurt the slimer here. Put the heal here, put the shield here. Drop his ass and then kill him. And slime the leaves. Okay, good. I did just say before Scrapper would not be very good in this team with Knight. It's not bad though, still. Especially with the Ward Arms on the, the Evoker for an extra shield here. Um, I think the Dru Druid is pretty solid though. I'm pretty actually, I think, more into a Druid here. That's definitely a debatable choice. If you thought that, that Scrapper was the way to go. I would not fault you. I think that's a respectable decision to make there, too. Okay. Uh, Rogue dodging this turn looks pretty nice. It's avoiding that poison hit for Magrat is very strong. Um, we'll see if I can get like a little bit of a better roll here. No, not really. Okay. We're well, probably just going to honestly parry. Oh, I need to use this first, though. I don't like this too much. We're just kind of stalling here a bit, which is not good when our evoker is poison, but we're avoiding the magrat poison, which is really nice. And we're stockpiling mana for drop, which is pretty good. We can do better than these rolls, hopefully. Take a little poison, I think that's fine. Okay. Drop into, I think kill Agnes here is pretty good. Into a couple of parries. Gaitha, Gaitha stunning us is annoying for sure. Or not stunning us, but weakening us is annoying for sure. But Okay, we need we need to get some mana here to pop off a balance, it looks like. Um, I'll take this, I'll roll these. Uh can't parry. 
I think we just double burst. That's fine, honestly. Here it's us versus a wolf and magrat. We just need to not die. Shouldn't be impossible. These are all very good rolls. This is pretty good here too. Rogue can get like a dodge or just more damage. That will definitely be enough damage here. There we go. Cool. Could have parried if we really needed it there. Not too scary. Um, I'm down for a magic staff here. Hissing ring is just fine. Magic staff is bad currently, but uh, in the future it can be very strong if you see a sorcerer or wizard. So that's a good that's a good hedge for one of those two. Absolutely. Uh, and definitely worth the item poison on one of those two characters. So would not hate seeing either of those in the future. I'll take these. Um. Hmm. Just looking. Let me do this actually. And we we can we can parry, but I think we just choose to kill the imp here to stop the poison. Druid is completely offline next turn, but that's not a big deal. That'll be fine. That should be okay. Okay, we got we got some damage inbound here. I'll hold two mana. Definitely hold these rolls. And okay, that's pretty good for us. Mm. That seems fine. Now Evoker gets hit by the weaken. A single drop kills fanatic, so there's one mana roll off because Evoker can still hit mana a little bit. Man off either of them would be pretty good here, but how does this currently look? Hold on. So we do this, we do this for the kill. And then yeah, there we go, fight's over. Very cool. Oh, this is an easy berserker angle. Absolutely. Being able to choose whether or not to turn these into four four damage or three shields is so powerful. Could even maybe toss in oh that's sorry, I thought, I thought it was gonna go the other way. I thought it was gonna copy the steel side here. Not very good then. Um but yeah, this is this is looking very nice for us right now. Berserker taking a lot of damage. Death Wish looking pretty good this turn. Uh, I'll hold this here too, honestly. Poison, poison looking pretty, pretty wild right now. For, for just taking that spiker slowly but surely down. I think we even just parry on Berserker too. With, with the poison out, this is gonna be a very just you know, grindy fight. It looks like we need to be careful about Rogue cantripping into Spiker. So whenever we get a chance, let's do that and let's try to preserve Rogue's HP. Generally speaking. Okay. Let's hit and let's parry onto the rogue to again avoid that incremental uh, cantrip damage. I think we'll be fine here. Yeah, we do kind of just win this by a lot. There we go. Cool stuff so far. Early grave is not the worst on Berserker. It's not that good though. It's not worth the poison. Uh, cauldron tempting, definitely a tempting one. Uh, again, it's just kind of not worth the poison. It's not. It's maybe worth it, honestly, though. Yeah, like like this fight, it's it, using all of our dice to turn one kill all three suitals is definitely a good enough line. I think I think that that potential high roll is worth the uh, the, what's it called here? I think the potential high roll is worth the the. Oh, the guys, these guys are rolling crazy, by the way. This turn, this shit's nutty. Oh God damn you, knight. Okay, so we can kill one of these suitals right here, right now. And if we parry, I'm a both. I wasn't paying attention to the, the targeting. Both of them. I, I saw this one. I was like, oh yeah, it's probably worth a parry. You know, they're both running away. That's very good for us. Okay. Should have kept the exert that night that turn. And well, that'll end the fight. Uh, 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 <laughs> uh, uh, I don't love. So the nice, you know what, we can take a sharp shot here. I don't love Shaman. Sharp shot's okay, and the really nice thing about this combat is, with the exception of the kill shot, we can use sharp shot to parry attacks here. That should be pretty good. This might be a kill Wendigo angle, honestly, for this team. 
it's kind of awkward to hit into these thorns for for us, but uh, we we in theory can manage it if we really need to. But I, I think on this fight, I think putting the mana here is worth it too, even if, even though we're a little bit poisoned. Then I think that'll be fine. Okay, we'll hold this. Pretty much take all of these, I think. I think I'm gonna kill you and put the cleanse here, then kill you. That looks fine to me, honestly. It okay, drew it in a little bit of danger. Yeah, that looks pretty nice. Looks pretty nice there, Berserker. I mean, let's see how this currently looks. If we do this, this, this. Uh, let's just hold. Burst might make the retreat happen. I don't want to do the math, though. Uh, I think these are pretty close to winning. Hold on. That definitely wins. Okay, goodbye. Uh, an extra spiker in the fight in exchange for an urn. Do we have any cool urn synergy here? Not really. Yeah, I'll decline that. I don't know. Could be cool, but we have no idea if it actually will be. Okay, this is like the optimal jewel loop route for Sorcerer. We get Sorcerer here, we put jewel loop and magic staff on that fucker, and he's making like 12 mana a turn pretty consistently. It's really nice. Unfortunately, though, has... I mean, I guess technically we can put this here. And now this also has 6 damage mana gain. The problem is that's just one side, and I don't think it's worth the uh, poison for that. I think it's worth the poison for the initial cauldron. The mana gain is not, I don't think we're worth the extra poison. So, no thank you. If we get to kill shot someone here, that's pretty cool. The question is who? I don't know who the answer is. Knight might have just triple exit. I wasn't paying that close of attention. I think we I think we kill shot the call. Let's play like this here. Yeah, that seems fine. In theory, we can overkill this snake too. If we get like a well, I guess if we get you know a couple different things can do it. We do this. Yeah, we just have it there. Yep. I should take the I think I take the uh, the ladder off of Sharp Shot. By the way, I think that is ultimately. Oh, hold on a second. No, that's bad. Okay. I just want to see what was under there. Without having to actually think about what was above my character. Um, I think I think it's better without without the mana on Sharp Shot for the time being. Uh, you know what I will say? If it's Ace, it's Ace, man. It's Witch. Okay, that's pretty good. I am pretty okay with Witch here. Witch holds the Jewel Loop pretty well. You know what we can do as well, actually? We can do this. It bumps these two down to two, but then this goes up to two, and this goes up to two. That's two poison, but with the with the Salve mana, that's actually pretty good, I feel like. I think we make this work, and especially if we get, like, boost... I guess we don't want to copycat the boost. Never mind. But, um... I don't know. It seems alright to me. That kills one chomp. Pretty free for us. Come on, Knight. Come on. There we go. So you put this here. You go like this. Into this. Just kills his ass. He just passed there. It looks pretty good to me. Just gotta kill the chomp now. I'll get the job done. Okay, well, there's Twisted Bar, which on this team will basically be no different than Magic Staff. Troll Blood is just net positive against the poison. I think it's actually a Troll Blood angle here, which is just kind of funny, maybe. I think that is pretty nice. I think we'll just use it to negate the uh, Warren Arms here, too. Okay, do I want to try to roll for, like, the weaken or the boost here? I honestly, I think we can. At this point, we don't. We, we settle. We settle now for sure. Okay, Berserker, fucking take a seat, buddy. This goes here, this goes here. We shoot the Cyclops and we pass. Probably not going to overkill the Cyclops, although maybe. You never know, right? We're just going to kill him as soon as we can, more than anything. Okay, I like the cleanse heal here. 
I like this too, honestly. Looking for the steel shield on on there we go, there we go, very good. So the plan is to be like parry here into like here. Just like burst. I put this on a sharp shot. I don't think it matters too much how you play that one. And maybe there's like a better line there, but I don't want to go back and find it. Oh, that'll that'll get that'll pretty much get the job done for us here, I think, today. Oh, didn't that didn't make you it didn't cause the overkill? Hmm. There we go, okay. That gets us the overkill. We'll play it like this and pass. That is lethal. Uh, Reroll the class of knight. No, thank you. Knight, knight's had a couple whiffs, but overall has been pretty strong. Uh, this is a pretty easy barbarian for me, I think, here. And we still have the ability to to reroll these. And I don't think we do the cauldron line anymore. That doesn't seem that as good. Um, I don't hate battle song on barbarian here. Although with with knight, I think I'd rather honestly just use it for parries. I don't, think, I don't think the poison is worth making the death side, like, somewhat usable, though. Immediately punished, I guess. Okay, game. You're funny. Very funny. If it hit me a third time, I was going to maybe scream. But we're good. We're good. Um, I think we do... Let's see. I guess we could drop the top quartz. Hold on. Maybe we do it like this. We don't get the kill. Barbarian doesn't mind the weaken though, honestly, too much. This should be fine. Okay, sharp shot. Whenever you're really, whenever you're ready to roll a kill shot on this slate, I very much appreciate it. At any point, whenever you're feeling it, just uh, blast his ass. Any day now. There we go. Sometimes it is just that simple, huh, folks? We definitely put this up here. This goes down here. I think we do this just to cleanse you. Get your poison out. Though it wouldn't be bad on Evoker, because Evoker still just has the poison, so it would be pretty cool to cleanse there, too. Doesn't matter too much, though. Uh, I guess let's take this, honestly. It's not too bad here. I don't know. That's pretty good. I guess I don't know what I'm looking for at night here. I don't think I want to exert. I definitely don't want to do any of these. Let's just pass. Yeah, kind of a kind of a lame turn. Not too bad though, honestly. Okay, we get the cleanse this turn now. We'll put it up here to prevent your your death defy, I think, or your your death beam, Mister Basalt. And I'm not too worried here. Um, yeah, this is not that scary. Uh. I'd love to hit a bloodlust side here instead, but I don't know if we should risk it. Should not have risked it. I should have risked it. There we go. Perfect. Okay. So the line is this into this, which is a little bit scary at first, but we will get the kill, so you don't have to worry about that. So we do this first. And then we put this here. Probably do a little salving. Maybe actually, we'll probably just drop. Pop a drop there. That's fine. These two are both unbelievably weakened. I would love this turn, love, love, love this turn to hit a hit the weakened dagger on which I haven't seen it at all yet, and it would kill the basalt preemptively, which would be really nice for us. Okay, you know what? Fine, fuck me. Never mind. We just play it like this instead, and probably just rush down basalt this turn if I had to guess. They're they're low enough. It shouldn't be too hard to get there. I'll take these. Yeah, that'll get the job done. You know what? And finally, time for Evoker to not be poisoned anymore. And that looks pretty good. Okay, they're punching the shit out of my witch, which I don't love. Not really that worried about it. Yeah, we're fine. Cool, cool, cool. Pretty easy basalt fight. Uh... Sapphire Ring is just better than Mage Staff here, so I think we'll take that. 
I don't know if Mirror Mask is that big of a line for us here. We don't know who our final blue is, yada yada. This does just seem a little bit better, because now this is four and these are both two. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Um, Beyond that, I don't know. Yeah, this isn't worth it on, on uh, Evoker. We just go next here. Okay, they're killing my Barbarian, which is pretty fucking rude. I don't know what he ever did to deserve this. Sniper just taking out, or Sharpshot taking out the Sniper is a really good line for us. You're happy to see that. I think the cleanse just because it's nifty. I'll hold these. A knight is a knight is just throwing. We're gonna parry on barbarian this turn. Play this one slow. Not actually worried, but uh, want to take it safe. Would love to see that weaken wand this turn. Which you know what, four mana, that I can, I can accept that. That's pretty good. Uh, steel here. I shouldn't have rerolled that. That was risky for no reason. I put this here. I can go drop burst, which is fine. I don't. I don't know. There's maybe a better angle there, but we're we're playing fast here because this team is very strong. We don't have to take this fight very seriously. Um, if that wasn't obvious. Uh, Weaver, I think Poet here is the pickup. Weaver is fine, but doesn't hold our cool magic staff very well. And we've eliminated quite a few of the blues, I think, at this point. Or at least a couple of them, right? We've eliminated... Yeah, oh, well, just one, I guess. Uh, but these two are still amazing for us. Warlock is always good, right? Chronos, not even bad on this team either. Yeah, we'll, we'll see a good blue no matter what, basically. Take this here. I'll take these, I think, as well. It looks pretty good. Okay, guys, come on. Get your shit together, please. Okay, Evoker, you have... You rolled the one mana side into double X. That's pretty fucking miserable. Luckily, the rest of our team picked up the slack here. Um... You're supposed to take out both these wisps. Oh, I, I need to do this first. Hold on. And then pass. Seems fine to me. Okay, call. It's top call, so it's not a big issue. Oh, this is really good too for us, actually. Cleave heal is fine this turn. I'll take that. Yeah, Evoker finally not throwing. Thank you, Evoker. Very cool. Then we go drop into shoot here. Into salve, and then it's just us versus a single call. That seems fine. This has to be enough, right? Yeah, we can just double drop. Good stuff. Dumbbell is nice on Barbarian, but I don't know. It's, it's kind of iffy. It's it, If we had the space for it, because I think the jewel would be better, but if we had the space for it, it'd be, it would be pretty good on Witch 2 here. Uh, I think, you know, just give me a random. These both kind of suck, I feel like, honestly. You okay, get line, which is genuinely very good on Barbarian, so that's nice to see here. Pretty much makes both those instant kills, although the death side we're probably not going to use very often. But still, very good rolls for us here. Pretty happy to see that. Um, So we do this. And then, I think we just, like, kill you. Drop on your ass. And just burst and just causes the retreat, I think, right? Pretty close to a retreat here. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Okay, Wizard. Wizard is one of the ones we can take here for sure. Definitely holds the things we got well. Probably the better of the two, honestly, with the magic staff. But I like that. Unfortunately, no boost for the wand, but that's not a big deal. That's fine. We can live without that getting boosted. Uh, and with this Barbarian having these two sides here, it'll be pretty easy to get Inevitable to flee. But uh, we do need to handle the 18 billion wisps first, so something to keep in mind. A cleanse is pretty good this turn. We could look. I kind of want to roll for kill shots here on on sniper or on sharp shot here, but three damage is pretty decent too. I gotta settle. These are all very good rolls. Um, let's stop the summoners. So I think what we're gonna do actually we're gonna kill the summoners here. 
And the plan is going to be... Oh, this should be like this. There we go. The plan is going to be to... Put the cleanse, the heal here, and, and blank both these incoming, uh... Incoming pains on which, I think. Makes the most sense to me. Okay. Inevitable is, is having a very bad start, unfortunately. Kind of feel bad for the guy. Cleanse heal looks okay this turn. This is honestly pretty good, too. I want to high roll the boost onto wizard early, but, like... Now you just gotta take what you can get, right? Oh, hold on. A little bit of a misplay. Oh, hold on. Not that it even matters here too much, I'm realizing. You know, we do this probably, actually. That looks pretty good. Salve you up. And it's just us versus Inevitable. He's gotten two turns to boost. It doesn't get the retreat, but it is a pretty good roll for us in general. This is fine too, I suppose. We put this on on Poet. The reason why is that Exert affects him the worst. Because he has these shitty cantrips. If we roll like the one mana cantrip next turn, it'll be pretty bad for us. Um, and then we probably just salve you up again. And if he rolls either of the sides next turn, it should it should be it. It will be it. it will, that will be GG for the, for inevitable here. We roll either of the the uh, the fierce sides on barbarian this turn, and we do. So we just do this into this, keep him alive. No reason to let him die here, right? I guess we can put this in here too. But yeah, this makes makes these inevitable inevitable flee. And we win. Very cool. That is like I, I I've known Fierce or Lion, I guess the item, is good, but I feel like every time I see it, it's never a team that can actually actually like utilize it well. This is like the best case scenario for Lion, right? So and it also like the best case final boss fight too, because you can make them run away through the ghostness. Which is very nice. That was a that was a that was a 30 minute recording. Damn, that was a pretty fast run. Hey, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. Hopefully I will see you for the next video. Goodbye.